When most people think about pharaohs, they often picture the magnificent pyramids and the treasure-rich tombs built in their honor. However, did you know that aside from preparing for their death while they were alive by stocking up treasures that will help them ascend to the afterlife, pharaohs also ensured that they ate some of the finest meals life could offer. Interestingly, considering the unique location of Egypt, these monarchs always had countless options to choose from, and in this video, we'll explore all these amazing foods the ancient Egyptian pharaohs ate. Honey As far as food eaten by the ancient Egyptian pharaohs go, honey was by far a fan favorite. Yes, the same honey we all know and love was also preferred among other foods by the Egyptian pharaohs. This preference stemmed from the fact that the ancient Egyptians believed that bees were a very special type of insect. In fact, they were so special that ancient Egyptian mythology has it that Ra, the Egyptian god of the sun, created them out of his very own tears. This, therefore, meant that these insects had a strong spiritual connection with the dead. However, aside from the spiritual impact of this food, honey also occupied a significant political position in Egypt. Its capability to sweeten any dish coupled with the fact that despite how long it's left, honey doesn't spoil, made it a prized commodity in ancient Egypt. Honey was often used to bake cakes which formed a very important part of the pharaoh's diet. And even when a pharaoh dies, honey is also included among the pile of foods meant to serve him in the afterlife. Meat In ancient Egypt, the consumption of meat was a luxury only the rich, including pharaohs and other royalties, could afford. However, although the Egyptians had a wide range of meat sources to choose from, as the Nile Delta was home to a number of animals, People of this period did not just eat an animal for meat just because it had meat. Most animals used for meat were domesticated. As such, beef and chevon were very common during this period. Aside from domesticated animals, pharaohs and people in the upper class society in ancient Egypt ate many of the wild animals that lived in the Delta and Redland desert, including deer and antelope, which the Egyptians hunted. Nonetheless, not every meat was actually supposed to be eaten in ancient Egypt. Some animals were tagged unclean and their meat was considered inedible. An animal like the pig was seen in this light due to its association with the Egyptian god of chaos, Set. Milk Aside from domesticating animals for their meat, it was also customary for ancient Egyptians to extract milk from their cows, goats, and sheep. In fact, milk was a part of the diet of even the pharaohs in Egypt. Nonetheless, like the pig, due to its association with Set, the donkey was not milked. While it is a fact that milk was in fact tasty, in ancient Egypt, it was almost impossible to preserve milk for long periods due to the hot nature of the weather and the absence of refrigerators during that period. I guess we could say that Egyptians benefited from refrigerators the most. It was so bad that fresh milk could go sour within a few hours. As such, Egyptians drank their milk within a few hours after it's been collected and any milk that was not going to be drunk within this period would be turned into a yogurt-like drink or made into butter or cheese. Poultry The people of ancient Egypt also domesticated birds of various varieties which were kept for their meat and other poultry products. By far, the most common bird was the goose. Poultry from this bird was favored by the pharaohs but was also consumed by Egyptians generally. As such, while the meat was eaten by peasants only occasionally, Poultry was often a part of every meal. Besides geese, however, there are also records that Egyptians also domesticated other birds like pigeons, ducks, herons, and cranes, and used them for food too. Aside from meat from birds, pharaohs also loved eating eggs. We know this because there are Egyptian wall paintings showing baskets of eggs. Mind you, chickens and chicken eggs were not among the common birds you find in ancient Egypt. In fact, it wasn't until 1750 BC that chickens found their way into Egypt and became a source of food for the Egyptians. Beer Another common food that made up the diet of Egyptian pharaohs was beer. However, although this drink was favored by the pharaohs, its consumption wasn't restricted to the monarchs. In fact, literally everyone, including children, drank beer. Yes, you heard that right. In ancient Egypt, beer was so popular that laborers who worked at the pyramids were paid in beer. However, a notable thing to know about ancient Egyptian beer was that it was fairly different from the modern beverage we know today. For starters, beer consumed in ancient Egypt was prepared from lightly baked, crumpled barley bread 
and was cloudy, thick, and extremely rich in nutrients. Just imagine an alcoholic porridge. Additionally, it had to be consumed immediately after brewing, as it spoiled within a day. Wine Aside from beer, another drink that formed an integral part of an Egyptian pharaoh's diet was wine. Although no one knows exactly when wine was introduced in Egypt, historians believe that this drink was being imported into Egypt long before 3000 BCE by the very first pharaohs, who quickly came to love the drink so much that they also wanted to ensure they had enough even in the afterlife. The tomb of Scorpion I, one of Egypt's first pharaohs, revealed a massive supply of about 700 jars containing about 4,500 liters of resonated wines meant for his consumption in the afterlife. Now, due to the growing love for wine, it soon became a major agricultural product in Egypt. Several varieties of wines existed within this period, with each serving a different purpose. Bread The main food you're bound to find at every meal was bread, as in fact it was very common in ancient Egypt. The ancient Egyptians, both rich and poor, ate so much bread that the people who lived in the lands around Egypt called them bread eaters. As such, even the pharaohs ate bread. The ancient Egyptians made bread from emmer wheat, although due to the fertile land they had, they also grew and used two other types of wheat, einkorn and spelt. Bread is made from flour, obtained by grinding the wheat to a fine powder, and it was one of the duties of the pharaoh to control the production of wheat and barley himself. Bread also served a symbolic meaning in ancient Egypt, as it was customary for Egyptians to present bread to one another as a sign of charity and generosity. This is because Egyptians believed that they would be judged in the afterlife by the measure of their good deeds while they were still alive. Mandrakes The mandrake is a short plant whose leaves occur in a basal rosette on the ground. This plant is found traditionally around the northern and eastern parts of the Mediterranean. It appeared in Egypt during the New Kingdom. Due to the fact that cultivation of this plant was only restricted to the gardens of the elite members of Egyptian society, the mandrake was something you find only in the diet of the rich, including pharaohs. Lentils Another plant that was consumed only by the wealthy was lentils. The ancient Egyptians consumed lentils since prehistoric times, or since 4000 BC. In fact, the oldest written recipe discovered in Egypt, dated from approximately the year 3000 AD, was a recipe for red lentils. The fact that it was written on papyrus in the Greek language shows that it may have had its origin in ancient Greece. The consumption of lentils in both places was very much different. Unlike in ancient Greece, where lentils were consumed virtually by everyone, the Egyptians considered lentils to be food for the rich and powerful. As such, it was a food reserved only for the pharaoh, other royals, or the rich people. Lentils require very little water to grow, and once they're prepped for storage, they can be kept for up to a year. They're also nutritious, filling, and absolutely delicious. For these reasons and many more, the ancient Egyptians gravitated towards lentils as their crop of choice. Fish Due to the presence of the Nile, Fish in ancient Egypt formed an integral part of every meal, from that eaten by the poor to those meant exclusively for the wealthy. Some fish were even considered to be sacred, while others were considered to be unholy and as such Egyptians were forbidden from eating such types of fish. For instance, while the eel was considered sacred, crabs and oysters were considered unholy. Now since pharaohs were part of the upper class, one would automatically assume that they ate some of the best fishes the Nile had to offer and this wasn't far from the truth. Some dishes that made it to become part of the meal of pharaohs included catfish and mullet. So what do you think about the food choices Egyptian pharaohs made back in the day?